Some sounds are familiar. Normal temperature. Others are not. Good morning, everyone. It's a five minute warning to clean before the bell rings. But the cleaning and extra steps become as routine as wearing masks because no one really wants to go back to the way it was. You know, it kind of breaks your heart when you think about it. Stephen Delvo teaches AP U.S. History and U.S. Government at Christ the King at Catholic School in Huntersville. He remembers last spring when the pandemic started and students and teachers were forced into learning from home. In person, I saw over the two months that the students were getting depressed and you could visually see that uh, depression started to sink in. The students did it, but they didn't like it. It's so hard for me to be online because I, you know, I don't focus very well. So online, I would just get so distracted and not learn anything. Sophomore Gavin Hartnett says he practices what he preaches to his classmates. Try to keep social gatherings outside of school down to a minimum because if you want to be in school and get that learning experience, then you want to limit yourself who you're hanging out with. There are about 339th through 12th graders at the private school. The principal says only eight students have chosen to learn remotely and not come inside the school building, which has been open for in-person learning five days a week for each student since August. I think the, the first broad stroke of success is keep your campus closed, know who's coming and going. The school has only gone remote once this school year around Thanksgiving when many students were quarantined mostly because of exposure. There's not an exact science. But they're all speaking the same language when it comes to in-person learning. And the kids are are happy and they're and they're they're safe and they're you know getting taught. In Huntersville, Robin Kennedy, Fox 46.